Hello everyone, my name is John. Today, I will tell you how to set up uploading new contacts from Zoho CRM to Slack. This is necessary in order to automatically transfer new contacts from Zoho to other systems. For example, in Slack you can receive notifications to the channel and interact with them in every possible way in the future. Now let's move on to the setup. First you need to create a new connection. Next you need to select the Zoho CRM data source system. Next, you need to choose an action. Get contacts, new. Next you need to connect your Zoho CRM account to the Apex Drive system. In this window we need to specify the username and password of the Zoho personal account. You also need to grant Apex Drive permission to work with your Zoho account. When the connected login is displayed in the list select it. No additional settings are provided for the Zoho system, so just click continue. At this stage, you can set up a data filter, in this case there is no need for this, so we also click continue. At this stage, you see data for one of your contacts. If everything suits you, click next. This completes the setup of the Zoho CRM data source successfully. Now you need to go to the data reception settings. Select Slack as the data receiving system. Next, you need to select an action. Send message, channel. At this stage you need to connect your Slack account to the Apex Drive system. In this window, you need to specify the workspace of your Slack. To do this, go to your personal Slack account. Copy workspace to .slack.com. Then you need to specify the login and password of your personal Slack account. At this point you need to grant permission to Apex Drive to work with your Slack account. When the connected login is displayed in the list, select it. At this stage, you need to select the channel in which notifications will be received for each new contact from Zoho CRM. In the text field you can assign variables from Zoho. In order to do this, click in the field and select a variable from the drop-down list. Note that you can use not only variables, but also write values manually. To go to the next line use enter. When all necessary variables are assigned, click continue. At this point, you see an example of the data that will be sent as notifications to the channel for each new contact from Zoho CRM. If something does not suit you, click Edit and go back a step. In order to check the correctness of the settings, click Send Test Data to Slack. After successful sending, go to Slack and check the result. If everything suits you, return to the Apex Drive system and continue setting up. This completes the Slack data reception setup successfully. Now you need to enable auto-update and select the communication interval, for example, once every 5 minutes. That's all, I wish you successful integration settings and good luck.